What's up guys, in this video we're going over my favorite tech tools to be either a digital nomad or just to be way more productive in 2022. These are the tools I could not live without and use to run my business every single day. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Jonathan here, I was able to achieve financial freedom at 27 years old through passive income of real estate investing, mainly Airbnb, wholesaling, podcasting, and this channel deep dives into the step-by-step -step tactics of how you can do the same. Not the typical video, but I've been getting the requests more, so I wanna show you guys the main tools that I use to run the business, where I got them and how I use them. And again, this took me a lot of time to figure out because traveling full time, hosting a podcast and a YouTube channel, I had a lot of doubts about how to do that and get started with a virtual setup. So there's an overarching concept regarding this whole thing. A mentor once told me and I really liked it. Basically, he said, if you use it every day, you shouldn't skimp on it and you should try to have the best that you can afford. Things like beds, shoes, technology, especially technology that runs your business and makes you money, but anything like that. Ultimately, these are investments into your happiness and at minimum investments into your business that should make you happier if you're successful. This list is just gonna be six items, but if you wanted to see the rest of the setup or see the setup when I'm back in the States doing a harder content push, I can definitely make that too. Just drop a comment below saying home studio tour or something like that. But for now we're on the road, so let's get into the tools and why they exist. And yes, all links will be posted below. They're affiliate links, so you may get a discount on your purchase and it will help support the channel at no cost to you. Okay, the first tool is the camera, which is a Canon M50 and it is what this video is being filmed on literally right now. I've talked about this a little more later as we are filming more YouTube videos and other course products. It's sort of the industry camera for beginner YouTubers, not because it's the most simple camera, but it's high quality and at a low price. Personally, I don't like it, but not because it's a bad camera. It has been solid, but for someone who's not in love with the technical side of filmmaking and lighting and learning about camera settings, it is still way more complicated than someone comparing to like an iPhone, which we'll get to in a sec, but yeah, like it has a learning curve, so plan to watch at least a couple hours of YouTube videos on how to use it after you buy it. So here's the catch. If you're not a full out content creator or course creator, I don't think you actually need something like this. We'll get to the phone next, but I think a good phone, like any of the new ones, you know, iPhone 12, 13, have good enough cameras to film great content. If you are looking for a really nice starter camera to YouTube or film a course with, this is the one to go with, but I seriously would consider just making content on your phone. As you could have guessed, we're getting to the phone next and I have an iPhone 12 at the moment. This is the camera I use way more than the Canon. Like I mentioned above, it's just easy to use and the quality is really solid. I used to be an Android user and a Windows computer user for a long time, but after making the switch, I actually can't believe that Windows products still even have a place in the market. To me, when I side by side compare Apple products to Windows products, I cannot even believe the gap. But I guess people use them for other things that I'm not, but I have converted hard hard to an Apple geek and it's pretty funny. Like forget all the great features and simplicity. Like did you know if you copy something on your phone and paste it to your Mac, it'll just immediately appear? But okay, forget that. If we're looking for something tactical, the support from Apple products is amazing. And in traveling a lot, dealing with different time zones, security issues, VPNs, and other related tech things, Apple support has been a huge help. Ultimately, if any of the things on this list, this phone will make me more than five times the money of anything else in my life, period. Gary V said it, and I really liked it. In 2022, the phone is the remote control for your life. So you might as well get good at it, have the best one, and know how to use it. I'll throw a bonus tip on here, since an iPhone is a pretty basic tool or whatever you want to call it. The app I use the most on this phone and most of my life is Notion. We have more content coming out about it, but the app is really clean and it's the best mobile app version of any project management tool I've seen. I've never used Notion on an Android, it might be the same, but on an Apple it's just really clean and easy to use. One other tip or tool combination that I'm gonna throw in here is the combination of the camera and the phone, which I'm actually using right now to film this, and I'll explain how. So it might be a little tough to hear because this is not like a good mic, but as you can see, I'm filming on the camera. I have the mic, which we'll talk about in a sec. And the phone is used as a teleprompter. So if you guys didn't know, the way that I make YouTube videos, I put a script into an app that I just scripted out from Notion. And then that app moves along with my voice or my eyes depending on whatever setting you use. And it's an easy way to use your phone as a teleprompter once you just have this little attachment to your camera. So without that, I would not be able to film YouTube videos. I have a horrible rote memory. 
or at least when I'm just not like able to focus I do. But anyway, this makes my life so much easier. So we'll get to some of these other tools like the computer and the light in a sec, but I did just want to show you this and show you what it looks like in play. Number three, charger ports or cords, especially when you travel. I just like these two that I'm gonna post below. They're simple, they're not that expensive and consolidate a bunch of different other chargers into one and they've just made my life a lot easier. So these are the two chargers. So they're smaller and more powerful than the ones that come with an iPhone, and they can be used for multiple devices, which is what I really like. I realize as I'm saying all these things, I'm definitely such an Apple product junkie and like groupie, but it is what it is. I'm telling you, it is the best stuff. So if you are on the fence, go Apple. As far as cords go, I kind of look at them like disposable, but there are three types of cords that I travel with all the time, and I try to keep a long and a short of each of them. First one is a long and short USB-C to lightning cable. This is a link to the one that I use. Next is a long and short USB to lightning cable cord. And the last one is a long and a short USB-C to USB-C cord, mainly for charging an iPad or a Mac. All right, the fourth tool or tools that I use every day are microphones. So the two that we're gonna talk about are the Samson for podcasting and the Canon clip-on mic. So I didn't understand how important audio was until this year. If you create content, you know, but it's argued that audio is more important than actual video. Like the stats show that if you're watching a YouTube video with bad audio, you're more likely to change it than if the video is a little off. So there are two mics that I use specifically. The camera mic that attaches to the camera, like the one that I'm filming on right now, and then the mic I use for podcasting. The podcasting mic is awesome. It's not expensive and can connect with a USB mic or a USB-C mic. It works with Zoom in general, but also really great for podcasting. I get a lot of compliments on this mic and it didn't break the bank. I think it was like 60 bucks, we'll link below and I'm sure show it on the screen right now. And the mic for the camera, which you're hearing right now, came with a bundle that we will also link below and probably show on the screen also right now but it's pretty easy to use. We just plug it into the top of the camera and then screw it in and it goes when we film. As I mentioned, I did have a little to learn about the camera settings and the sound settings on the Canon mic, but it's not bad. And like I said, if you just watch a couple of YouTube videos, you can get the hang of it pretty quick. And what it does is replace the need for using a lav mic, which you have to clip on, which is really annoying, or bring a big boom mic with you everywhere that you go. All right, the fifth tool is an iPad Pro, an iPad Pro 12.9 inch that I got last year, so 2021 version. I actually thought I was gonna hate the iPad since a lot of people told me they don't use theirs after they buy them. But this has actually been one of my favorite purchases in 2021 and I use it every single day. Have I mentioned it yet that just like I love Apple products? I don't fanboy out on anything like I do with their stuff and it's just that good. But anyway, back to the video. So if you do have a Mac or an iPad, I don't know if you know this, but you can connect your iPad as a second screen to your laptop wirelessly just through Bluetooth and it's awesome. When I found this out, I was using it constantly, but at first I had an iPad mini. This was before I knew that you could use it as a second screen and I just thought it was easier to travel with but I started to get annoyed using it as a second screen, the mini. So just like a funny story, one day I was with my friend Chris Montez, one of my best friends and someone in our communities, and I was telling him that I love the iPad second screen, but just don't like how small the mini is. And back to the point we talked about earlier, he said, if you think it'll make a difference, why don't you just buy the iPad? You could also return it if you don't like it, but it goes back to that point, if you use it every day, don't cheap out or skimp out on it. And it's made a huge difference. It's made traveling and being more productive on the road much easier. Since I do realize Mac products can be more expensive, one hack that I've used more recently and used even with this iPad is the open box items at Best Buy. When I was in the market for buying this, I was driving past a Best Buy that day and actually they let me trade in my iPad mini for the Pro and I think it only came out to like $200 out of pocket. So don't sleep on Best Buy open box stuff and the possibility of trading in other stuff that you don't think has any value. All right, number six, and I realize I actually have it behind me, a whiteboard. A little specific to me, but I think anyone who creates content should be using a whiteboard. And it's the same reason you might watch this video with lots of graphics on the screen that are amazing video editor ads instead of just plain, boring, talking head content with no music or no graphics. But pretty much anytime I go live on TikTok or Instagram, or now more on YouTube, I will be trying to whiteboard something. And it's something I'm gonna be doing a lot more of and doing more YouTube videos of like this, just because I think it drives a point home. The actual whiteboard itself is one of these, and I'll explain what I mean in a sec, but since this is the biggest thing in my setup of gear, 
you might be wondering how I travel with it from country to country. The short answer is I don't. It's not the most economical thing on paper, but I usually buy a new one each time I get to a new city. Mainly because it saves a ton of time and prevents me from needing to bring an extra suitcase. As you guys know, I don't like to check bags. And sometimes it actually makes for a really fun adventure trying to find one in a new city. Like when we got to Columbia the first day, it gave me a good excuse to go on an adventure with the house. So get yourself a whiteboard and like the phone, the whiteboard actually makes you money. You can use it to film content on your phone on the whiteboard and boom, you're in the game. I know this is gonna sound ridiculous, but just having this whiteboard alone has driven probably 40K in revenue for the business this year. The conclusion, and you like these type of videos. If you do, just drop a comment below of what you wanna see. As you guys know, in following me and this channel, I try to optimize my environment as much as possible. So if you see me doing something related to work, it's probably for a specific reason and it probably took time to get there. So I wanna share those with you so you don't make the same mistakes that took me a lot of time to get to. And that's it guys, if you got any value from this video, please make sure to hit like and subscribe and turn that bell on. We are going to be posting three tutorial videos a week going forward on this channel and answering all questions you guys have on investing, loan money down, real estate, and achieving financial freedom at a young age. And if you haven't seen it yet, in this Airbnb series below, I give out every tool and strategy you need to get started with Airbnb for free. So I highly recommend you check that out. Again, link below and you can get started with Airbnb. Until next time, be great and good luck building the most productive environment to level up in 2022.